So basically, Al Khafra Holding Group is is a, a, a privately owned uh, company established by Sheikh Mubarak Al Khafra, who uh, has foreseen that there's a need for a one-stop place for all his private investments in KSA and outside KSA. Uh, Al Khafra Holding Group was established uh, about seven years ago, whereby we have a multi departments and multi sections. One section is responsible for renewable energy. The other section is responsible for industrial investments. A third section is responsible for real estate development. And a fourth section is for property uh, uh, development. And then, and then lately, we have the uh, industrial projects developments, whereby Al Khafra Holding is responsible for many industrial projects. We, in, we are investors and developers. The concepts that we are operating in is very simple. We would like to see the proper industrialization of Saudi Arabia, whereby we're bringing new technology into the country. We are not a repeat copy and paste. On the contrary, we are very innovative, trying to bring anything that is new, whereby it will serve the local industry, build on foundations that are very plain. First of all, that the raw material availability should be local. We emphasize on the availability of local raw material where it might need the energy part of the equation in any industrial process, you need energy. If such, such a process is energy hungry, then it's a good candidate for the, the local market. And we are into where we can improve and develop the local uh, uh, employment uh, factor. Because as you know, the, the population of Saudi Arabia is, is uh, a young generation, and uh, industrial investments and in industrial projects is the place where it can absorb a lot of uh, operators, workers, managers, engineers, and so on. It's our firm belief that it's the, for the people of Saudi Arabia to develop the Saudi Arabian industry and economy. It is not for anybody else. Hence, that we would like to see that lots of training, lots of development for young engineers, young managers to take over the, the projects and improve the industrial projects that we are in, investing in. This is the way our philosophy is. And that's how we are taking on board many uh, industries. Uh, we are very selective on what type of industries we go in. We don't go into any projects. We, we, there's a screening process whereby we, we take a step-by-step -step approach into screening of the parameters of these projects. And the most important part in any of our projects is the people behind it. We invest in people. We don't, we're not just ideas. We like to know who our partners are, what their, their background, and then what sort of experience they have in such projects. Once this uh, first threshold of screening has been passed, then we start looking at the parameters, the financials, the, the concepts of the project, and we study its feasibility from all angles. Later on, once we see that the project has merits to stand on its own feet with the long-term objectives, we never focus on short-term objectives, then we take it to the next phase where we find investors. Either it's our own investment or we bring in some of our uh, relationships or our friends or our connections to come in and invest with us in our projects. Usually we are oversubscribed in any project that we apply for because with the thank uh, you know, to, to the name and reputation of our chairman, Sheikh Mubarak Al Khafra, that people trust him as, as an, a respectable businessman. Henceforth, we have uh, this uh, uh, very selective criteria before we go into any projects. As you know, Saudi Arabia is a big country. It's a continent by itself. It's the biggest industrial zone in the, in the region, and it's the biggest economy. Uh, and we believe that uh, no matter what you do, still there's a demand in Saudi Arabia. But we'd like to be selective in what we invest in, and where we invest in, and with whom we invest in. This is our concept. Recently, we went into the, the, the renewable energy, whereby we feel that Saudi Arabia is the prime contender for renewable energy and renewable energy projects. Whether on the manufacturing side of components that make the renewable energy or 
in the ap application where you generate energy using uh, solar uh, photovoltaics or uh, SPC or whatever other methods of renewable energy generation. As uh, everybody knows, and I'm sure that you heard, that uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia currently they are using 45% of their uh, fossil fuel into generating electricity. And it's costing them much more just to, to extract this energy and use it into their power generation and water desalination. Uh, Saudi Arabia, with the abundance of DNIs, which is the, the measure of the intensity of, of uh, the sun, it's a prime location where you can apply renewable energy in the sense of solar, wind, uh, and so forth to generate electricity. And it will benefit a lot by exporting its oil instead of burning it into uh, generating electricity for air conditioning and uh, uh, powering uh, the, the, the diesel nation plants. Uh, our new focus, and we have successfully started our phase, uh, phase one of uh, the first privately owned uh, power generation plant uh, in the Nofa Farms. It's a one megawatt plant uh, owned by Nofa Farms, uh, 80 kilometers west of Riyadh. And this farm has uh, 28 dishes, uh, which is a solar concentrated power cells. And by this, we have saved a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, time, energy, and fossil fuel by giving the, the, the farm uh, all the power it needs for the day use. And in the night use, they can use their own diesel generators. Hence, we save the logistics for transporting the diesel, the, the maintenance of the diesel generators, the, the uh, power generators, and you have fresh, clean, no pollution energy source. Again, uh, Al Khafra Holding Group is the first and the only current self generating uh, renewable energy project with one megawatt. This is all done by ourselves. It is not under care, care or anybody. So just to show how, how uh, uh, the conviction that we have in our uh, renewable energy that we went into this project, we convinced the client, which is the Nova Farms, to try it, and they have tried it. Now, with its success, the plan is to expand it from one megawatt to five megawatts. And in theory, later on, maybe we'll go to the first privately owned renewable energy plant of 200 megawatts, that's the plan for the next phase. This is a brief outline of what Al-Khafra Holding is doing at the moment.